McClanky. McClanky. All right, see now, Sam, when you say like on four, that, that means on like after four. After four? That's not what that means. <laughs> after four, that's what that means. That's not what that means. If you say on four, that's what after four, four means. Yeah, that's look not at our after boys. four if means. If you say on I know, they four, it's so not like it. one, two, three, four, we go. It's one, two, three, go, bitch. No, no. One, like. Uh, on Motherfucker, four. you say on one, four and you don't two, even say four. Three. What the well, fuck was okay, wrong? Did he not hear him? He one, didn't say two, four. Three, four. I said one, McClunky. two, three. Here's the area where we're going to say McClunky. No, motherfucker. Nah, you, you, are... you, said, you said on four and you're like one, two, three. Yeah, McClunky. Said one, two, exactly. Three. Like, <laughs> like, like you. Okay, I understand what you were doing. You did it wrong, though. That's what we gotta do. The thing is, one, two, three, McClunky. Like, that's what it well, is. Well, like, what's the point of counting, uh, saying on I know. four and then counting to three? <laughs> just, just say on three. <laughs> well, but it wasn't on three, it was on the four. No, so you go one, on two, four, three, eight. four, McClunky. I get what you're doing, like, one, two, three, it's on four, four. One. Hey, like, if, it's, if that, that's different, if you do music, it's different. See, it makes sense I'm then. On the music it doesn't make sense. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, one, two, or uh, on four. One, two, three, four. That's that's how you do it in music, but like it's, you're not doing music because you didn't you didn't count us in. You said on four, I one, think it's two, it's three. Just fine. The other times we've done it, I don't. Know. No, 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 no. Every time we've done this, I've always had a problem. <sighs> that, I think last time we nailed it. You're just bitching. <laughs> every up. every time, like I'm well, like, you like, count Sam. us in, bitch. All right, all right, we're counting. All right, all right. You press live on four, okay, Sam? Three. All right, okay, sure, yep. All right, one, two, three, four. McClunky. McClunky. Uh, see, McClunky. See, I didn't get it. It's like hard. Are you? Are you <laughs> shut your fucking mouth. I didn't catch it that time. Sam, you made it way too confusing. Sam, you're the guide. Okay. You say one, two, three, four, and then when you start saying McClunky after four, that's where see, like, honestly, okay, we this, got it. But point, if I, you say I, one, two, three, and then wait a wait a beat, and then say McClunky, the time, I'm all lost. It was, yeah, because like, like you, counted down. like you did it on the and like this one and a two and a three and a four we're, we're going into music theory we're here right four, now guys four three two <laughs> and, and, one anyway, no <laughs> anyway welcome to the discussion of the book of Boba Fett, chapter two chapter welcome two. we're we're the counting the time of tatooine was that a, oh, was that a fitting <laughs> chapter episode do you think sorry the tribes of tatooine yeah now i don't have fit to be honest I think the I think it was I think like the background is like, yeah. I feel like there was more focus on the on the Tuscan Raiders. So I think that could be that, that should be more fun. Yeah, fuck those Tuscan Raiders. I think nah, nah, nah. Just come in and the kill Tuscan them all. Raiders were like I'm, gold I'm in this in this episode. They were nah, the best I love thing. Them. They were great. They yeah. were great. If you look in the background of, the, of this episode with some of the Tuscan Raiders, I swear to God, you see some of their shit falling off their face. One of their like, eyeballs falls yeah, off. Like, one of the eye parts like dangles, and they're like, err, err. like they just don't even. <laughs> I'm like that's just like the aesthetic of a Tuscan that I like. I think <laughs> just like listening back, like when you do, like you do that noise, it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm trying to get better at my Tuscan impression. You didn't grow. <laughs> like that. Kind you, of you, 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 you get in it. They do that part. I can't. Like they have a weird. Like, yeah, I need a. I need. I need a. I need, a, I need to practice my Tuscan. Apologies now. My Tuscanese. I thought because like, at one point they mentioned like the Tuscan Raiders do mention that uh, that because they are a less violent group apparently, but so yeah, I was, like maybe like that. But oh, you understood them. What, what, can you imagine a Tuscan <laughs> just coming up, coming up being like, "Hey, yo, it's, it's me, a, a Tuscan Raider." <laughs> yo, I'm chill. Those other Tuscans, crazy. Me, not so. Like much. those guys are just freaks. They don't even know how to speak right. <laughs> They're going, right, right. They got functioning mouths, man. But yeah, like, uh... Here, I'll show you my mouth, and he takes off his mask, and it's just a fucking hole in his face. I felt like, like well, they could have done more with, like, like maybe expanding this upon is what... the vibe idea. Right. But... Oh, these guys can see what I'm about to draw. You, chat, you can't see it, but, like, so... This is what I imagine a Tuscan Raider's mask is like. <laughs> I think they, they showed it once, and it was really just, like, a hole in their face. Yeah, I'm pretty That's sure, like, because we've never seen one in canon. And this isn't, like, Legends, sure they yeah. they very much like... Uh, a Nikto. That's mask. what the, that race was called, by the way, Connor. That's what we were trying oh, to remember. Oh, right, a Nikto. Niktos. They look kind of nikto like, but like more gross. Which isn't the worst thing in Star Wars. I mean, like there's like there's things. like one version where they look really handsome and good. What? 
And then there's the other version where they're just a giant, disgusting hole. <laughs> when I was um, when I was starting out, actually, I I was about to get commissioned to draw a uh, Tusker Sorry, Raider. Sorry, I didn't be able to see it, but uh, there you go. Oh, wait one second. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my That's, I, god! Like, Loki kind of scared me. I absolutely hate it. Gross has space. Gross. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like up in the top left corner there, Connor. There's like a, the handsome one, and then the one right beside it. Yeah. Just this oh that's yeah. Not, that's not yeah. A Tusken Raider though. That's fucking what's his nuts. That's Darth Crate. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> what Darth Crate dragon? Like that's a dude. Well, look that, at that like... one with the hole in his face right there. Their face looks like their mask, and it's just disgusting. Yeah, I told we totally thought that uh, Boba Fett was gonna bang that chick. I that totally bad. think that that could still happen. I think that that's still on the table that Boba Excuse might me? bang that Tusken Raider. <laughs> like, if you don't, that's... I don't know. Dude, she probably because they she, obviously if, have if their face does if their if their face does look like that, then she probably gives a Gluck like three thousand with the extra. Oh like, my oh god! My god, <laughs> god these are not um, the I of the hate staff. this. <laughs> can can we like end the stream? Can like we just like finish That's it, there? folks? Thanks for watching. These are our thoughts. I, can't I don't know. Only take away I had to. You had to make me like, hear that no at one o'clock <laughs> forty eight on the sixth of January. Oh, shut up. 2022, for you, for, that, that's for you. For us, it's five forty eight, <laughs> which is even worse. January. <laughs> All right, all right. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. With that, what I said. Let's, let's you know, just get down you, to it, like with the regular vile. order of the episode. We're going to get to the Tuscan Raider potential banging later. <laughs> let's. Oh my let's god. Start it regularly. I hate this. Well, do I, I mean, kind of do I have to be on this drew anymore? Don't want to lie, Kaz. If you did, didn't get a little, did I make you uncomfortable? Kaz? I didn't. Sorry. No, no. I'm taking the piss. Like, I'm, I'm just I'm memeing. <laughs> I did not. I did not go into this thinking, oh yeah, she, he's gonna bang that fucking. Oh, I don't think he's gonna. Sorry, he's gonna bang, have. He's going to have he's, sexual intercourse I with that uh, with that Tuscan raided lady. Actually, maybe she already loves the main dude, so maybe that's like not. She's maybe she's. Well, not the, like yeah, rights. like the big the big um, uh, the guy who helps him do the thing, yeah. you know. No, I don't think. I don't think there is any romantic relations going to be involved with uh, your boy. I don't know. You Boba remind me of Fett. my cousin when da Daenerys and, and uh, John had their first. No, no, no! You shut your mouth. Like, this is this is like, completely. So where is the, the chemist? I see no chemistry. Well, I the I don't know. Boba? She she. She's been giving him the 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 little the, the, the eyes through the goggles. Yeah, you know? have you not been seeing that? She's been giving him the eyes. What the fuck am I meant to be looking at? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm like, actually, I'm I'm. This is the funny like watching here. Connor just like just listen to this. Yeah, as Connor well. has, is just giving us faces. He right doesn't now. condone. Like Connor, Connor is currently holding the. Connor, what do you think? Have. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and he's. Uh, I'm holding a skull, by the way. I know, um, but it's also our brain cell. I think all of us talking at once, no one can understand what we're saying. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You don't need to understand. Like it's like all you need to understand is like I am angry. Like, at, like this right, discussion. Connor, Connor, one one at a time. Let's start from the beginning. What do you think of that specifically? Of I'm the sorry. Tuscan and Boba? Yeah. I don't. I don't see the connection. Is that... <laughs> see. <laughs> uh, all right, see. Well, the only we'll sane one of us agrees. Right. We'll see who's right about that by the time this show wraps up. You are yeah. going to be like your cousin and Daenerys. And There's going to be a little Boba Fett Jr. walking around. All I'm saying, I, I, I can hate this. definitely Go see it. I can definitely see it that she dies and he's like, no, and like that kind of thing. And then, he, then we find out like that's just him with any horse, Tuscan Raider. Just like right Darth now. Vader and crushes everything around him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but, but that's, gonna be like, that's all in the flashback, with, which with happens giant well, You know what we should do? We should do, like, bingo for, like, every, like, for, like, the entire season. Like, at the end of it, we'll see, like, who's got bingo or something. Hey, wait, like, well, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Alright, fine. <laughs> where, where we find Fennec and the guard walking up to Jabba's palace. I like how he just <laughs> let them walk all the way. Yeah, what by the, the way. hell? <laughs> There was I, I I was like imagine that walk there. It's just the quiet like. So your boss just like <laughs> maybe walk yeah. the whole way here, eh? It's like yeah, I, guess, I don't know. Well, yeah, it's, of course, yeah. I, I, I mean, he wasn't speaking clearly. Ship, but we what, what was he gonna do? Him. Run away? She would catch him again. Well, of course, like okay. that. Well, but it would just be the awkwardest, just, the awkwardest, longest walk in the entire world. Of course, it would be. You're like oh, I don't know, okay. man. I feel like if I feel you're like walking with your captor, you it wouldn't be like. Was oh, it that long? Oh, it was that long. Never mind, never mind. I don't know. I don't know where Mos Espa is. Well, listen. But like, what, she, to be fair, 
did like didn't they walk to Mos Espa before? No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, oh, no mind, no mind. Isn't like, actually no like that. Yeah, that they, answer they, doesn't this, answer. This show makes it seem like walking through the desert is just a casual stroll. <laughs> I mean, Walking through the desert of a twin like, son. The Tuscans acknowledge that, like, yeah, like, if you go out there, you're fucked. Like, he said to the, the Pikes at the end, he was like... Well, they, yeah, yeah, no, but, I mean, like, Fennec Shand like, walking from yeah. Mos Espa back to Jabba's palace. Like, yeah, like on, like, like, again, that's like New Hope, for example, like, there's, like, a few transitional shots of, like, C-3PO just walking through the desert for a bit. Yeah, that's just us taking the piss again, though, because, like, again, it might be a thing where literally, like, she had a speeder and they just got off off screen or something like that. But still, yeah, I'm like, kind of weird. that's still like, that's, like you could, like, if you if you had it in the background, then like it's different. Like, yeah, like oh yeah, they got hit by speeder. Yeah, you know, there should have almost been something like that. It's bad Chekhov's gun, you know, in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Connor was laughing. So then they <laughs> talk to this guy inside there. Mm. Oh, speaking of that. that I loved the. I I was calling. I was like, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. There's nothing actually in there. There was. I thought when I first what? watched it, I was like, they they do mention in in the experience <laughs> that Jabba has like other creatures in in his palace and stuff like that. But the fact that it was nothing, I think, it was a lot funnier. Yeah, the build up, yeah. the fact that like he he just thinks that there's something fucked up. I will say I I agree with you on that point, Sam. That we were talking about earlier is uh, I did like that it. The, it was just a regular rat, and not a womp rat. Yeah, yeah, like because like, like they brought that up during the episode. They show the ecology so well sometimes, where like they had that other creature show up later, that frog yeah, thing that only showed up for a second in Return of the Jedi, which I loved. I thought mm. that was a cool Bro, little addition. You know what? I think I know what you're talking about now. You do remember? Was that, that the word? coolest like, thing? Yeah. There, it's just sitting there and eats something. I think it eats a womp rat or some shit. Yeah, and I was like, "That's a really cool moment that they just showed that they are aware of that, and then they just then they had a womp, or then they had a normal rat." Whereas they I think that's a that's a cool a thing rat. Star Wars does. Just in general, like, like, like side check for a second. I guess a cool thing Star Wars does is like with the like ecology stuff. Like it's just you. I think they only really. Do, I don't know if they've done it for like Endor or anything else, but or Yavin. But they did it like with ta they've done it with Tatooine. Where like there's just like something is here, something like these these are this transition. Something's eating a thing. Transition. Yeah, like there's a lot of things happening on that planet that elude. Oh, Sam. <laughs> 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 oh my god. There's, hello, oh, Sam. oh, that reminds me. That actually reminds me. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things w. like in Star Wars that do that, where the <laughs> transition of a creature that you see on a planet, but Tatooine has that in Spades, just because we've been there so much that we just have so much like the fauna. That lives there. So, like, when yeah. you had a rat thing, I'm like, come on, womp rat. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Not a problem. Just a little thing that I noticed like, where I'm like, no version of the womp rat in there? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Give us something. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Uh, I, this guy was such a little bitch, though. Like, he's like, oh, this guy's willing to die to keep these secrets. Mm. Like, oh, I mean, oh, like, oh, I don't want to die, please. Like, no, what the fuck? Like they said, it's all in the name. Like, it's very... Like, they, they wrecked them pretty easily, to be honest. There's only one standing by the end of it. Yeah, yeah but, like, why, why would... Assassins Nightwind, by the way, is what they were called. I wonder if we're gonna hear about that. But this guy being, like... This guy being, like, he's gonna die keeping the secrets. He's not gonna say a thing. And then drop him into a Rancor pit, and suddenly he's shitting his pants, not wanting to die. Well, because maybe yeah. he doesn't want to, uh, yeah, the idea like, of getting like ripped apart by a rancor maybe isn't that that appealing. The idea of getting ripped apart, like, like, fine. They could have done a lot worse than that, you know. Like they had torture chambers and stuff. They could have they could have done that little little like uh, robot like foot press thing that they <laughs> they had. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite thing. Like the jury, like no, no, no. <laughs> it's like damn, dude, that's your feet. The other thing too is like again, like he. He didn't really seem that threatened by it because he was like, "Ah, oh, you're bluffing." But he got two Gamorian guards. Like, I don't give a shit. So, and like again, like uh, Boba, Boba says even earlier on in that episode, he's like, "A lot of the people who knew how big of a threat I was are like not around." That's true. Yeah. So. Well, that and I think some of us were even sitting there, like after watching the Bad Batch, going, "What if that's Moochie or whatever its name was?" Like the uh oh the little rancor yeah like right. the other the rancor, baby rancor, they, rancor. They, yeah i was like what if it w and it just i mean they it very easily could have been yeah that's it but they weren't yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not the right one i was like oh no no, no. i'm just saying like a, d a different rancor in general like from that other one and like it yeah. came out like quicker because it was sm it's still smaller or whatever 
Like, can you imagine how much freakier that would be if the Rancor just came charging out like a fast thing and it ripped this guy apart and like, like oh, walking on the walls no. and everything, like going upside down and shit. Freaky. Like the Rancor's already <laughs> scary because it's so big, but the second that you actually have it like scampering at you, like gonna rip you up. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> Hi, bye. Hi, bye. <laughs> Don't know if Ew. you're a fan of the Book of Boba Fett, but thanks for being here. Hi, bye. Uh, Hi, bye. Hi, bye, bye. But yeah, yeah then, so then, then after that promising, promising opening where he uh, scared the shit out of that guy, they they take him to. Uh, have we confirmed now that that is uh, Mos Espa? Like, I, I'm assuming so. I'm pretty I'm, sure. I'm assuming it's Espa. Because yeah, like they haven't. I think I've only heard Espa being dropped. So like I haven't heard any. They, like, mm. Anchorhead is the I one that gets dropped. Just the captain. Like, uh, um, uh, mm. The whole time, like he's pretty funny. I mean, is it the Tah- Tashi Station that you're saying? Oh, that's yeah, like, Tashi yeah, that's Station. Later, yeah. That's that was, later. Well, you just that's bullshit. Place, yeah. No, I wasn't bullshit. That's real. No, no, it's in the actual kind of where the power converters little... are, man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know that you, 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 you stain. No, but I'm saying that the connection is real. Like that is it in, in this episode. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you a stain. Uh, but yeah, what did you guys AJ, think of, uh, of Mach <laughs> No, yeah, the, the No, seriously, no, don't, don't do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> like I actually like was worried. Uh, what did you guys think of Mark Shaiz, the Athorian like mayor? I, I thought it's like, really I, interesting. I always think Athorians are hilarious, like especially through like 2003 Clone Wars. Yeah, like, I yeah. Really, really, oh, really you know, I was thinking that the yeah. entire time. One when of I was these looking days, they're gonna it. do that again, like and in live action where they can actually gust or whatever with all their. Like, yeah, it's a cool ass fucking like. It's a cool ability. Design exactly in the cool ass noise. Like um, I am a slut for good sound design. Like and like just like cool ass noise. Just a slut, man. Yeah, yeah, but also like, uh, like like in just like what's the word? Like in like when like like I don't think did I ever tell you guys the story of like what got me into like wanting to study music, and like want to like become a the sound engineer. Girls. Was it Star Wars? No, I don't think no. It was Star Wars. It was um was it two two or... things. It was uh, in the Republic Commando game. There's like this scene where like the the sound the he the lead sound engineer she she she's like oh like we um like we had to experiment a lot to like make noises or like make certain sounds like there's like the way she like they made the Trandoshan footsteps was you they cut a pineapple in half and then they just like um walked it across like a like a, a flat surface of wood. And then, like, learn, I learned how they made the sound of the li- lightsaber, which is like a, a mic inside a tin can, swung around, and then put through a phaser. I think uh, I can't remember. But it was something, but like shit like that. I was like, dang. And then I was like, okay, I'm I'm becoming a sound engineer and get all the girls, and I got none. <laughs> I got one, but like I, she was in my graphics class, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> Uh, what's a story, story Kaz? <laughs> what, what was it? What was the time? Oh, so yeah, this is me being a like... me being a slut for like good sound design. So yeah, like I want to hear that. I want to hear what they do with that, like for like live, live action. How are they gonna? How do they? How do they go about it? Well, it's just sound and engin- sound designing and shit like that. It's really interesting. Yeah, I liked yeah. how it sounded combined with the uh, the translator. I don't know who the who the mm. actor is for that. It is a. It's it definitely... does sound familiar. I got... I will be back. In a... Two to three minutes. Sounds good, man. It's all good. But it's definitely someone that's probably... <laughs> uh, AJ, design. if you want to like, look that up or something like that quickly. Uh, it's got to be somebody. But yeah, it was, a, it was a really good voice to, to go along with that. It sounded very... Uh, not intimidating is the word, but like sleazy. Sleazily, like he knows. Yeah. It was kind of like an extended version for sure of the Twi'lek uh, kind of uh, envoy guy that showed up in the first episode where he's like... He he just knows that Boba isn't. Is Boba Fett a girl in Mandalore? What the fuck? Wow, what a fucking Excuse question! Me? Oh, I think they're talking about Fennec Shand. <laughs> uh, like Boba Boba is getting treated like shit by these people, like because they think that he's mm. he's a joke. So it was interesting to see that from an even more powerful stance from. Oh, uh, this guy. yeah, that's interesting. That is a very like, just like on like the world building side of things, like what like why kind of thing like because like, like you go in thinking like he's going to be this supreme badass essentially nah it's a fucking a joke as he's you getting just said talked down to he's getting talked Rector down to robert, by, Rod- by yeah, like, robert rodriguez no wait no never mind that's trend ocean 
Like he's being yeah, like talked down to by these these other people around him. Even the the toilet that runs, I think it's like a bar. I can't really tell at this point. It's like a a saloon type thing. Yeah. Oh no, it is Robert Rodriguez that voices the mayor, Mayor Muckshies. Really? That's fascinating. Yeah. No, it's yeah the the toilet that owns the um the club. I guess you could say. Yeah, like she even when she's saying like normal things to him, she sounds like she's. Being kind yeah. of like, ah ha ha, I'm just entertaining you because this yeah. is like our game that we're playing. That's all it feels like to her. Like, and Boba's like taking it seriously. He's like, no, I'm like, I'm here. I'll fuck shit up. Like, at this point, I'm surprised. I know he doesn't want to rule with fear, but man, like, it'd be so yeah. much easier for him just to walk in there and like drop some people and be like, yeah. what's up? Listen here, fuckers. <laughs> like, this is how it's going to be. Which uh, also. So I'm kind of confused. What was the implication with the uh, with the mayor uh, sending Boba back to her? Because like he was trying that... to say that she sent the assassins. Yeah, or... she sent the assassins apparently. But then it uh, was yeah. weird because we didn't really get a resolution to that. Like we the huts showed up and then everyone fucked off. Like we went back to John's yeah because and I was like because what? I think it was because the huts hire might have hired her to hire the assassins. Oh, they mm-hmm. did a real attack of the clones situation here, did they? Yeah. They hired that person to hire this person to do oh. And then the huts uh, came in, the twin huts. Yo. A, a boy and a girl, apparently. Now that... That's all for you. That was seriously one of the coolest moments. Like, when those drums started going, I was like... I already knew. I was like, holy shit, like... I was like, there's no way they're going to have huts in this, are they? I was like, are there are more huts? see some huts? This, these are the fourth huts we... Oh, fifth huts we met. I almost thought, dude, that it was going to be Jabba's kid. Like... Yeah. Oh I yeah. Don't know what his actual name is, but Rota or something. They call him, Ro. Yeah, Rota or something, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Baby. They call him Stinky. I remember. In, in, in the yeah, they call him. Yeah, they call him Stinky. And... So I mean, like, I, I remember. So like, I, 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 I don't the the If the, I uh, would want him to be kind of like an okay character, though. In all honesty, like, it's a character that I'd like to see in three hundred years. And and it's he's like not a bad hut. Like he's like a hut that's like yeah. Like when I was a baby or when I was a kid. Uh, Jedi's like saved me, and like I, yeah, they took care of me because yeah. I remember that shit from all that time ago. Maybe huts have really good memory. Like maybe that's a thing. That'd be interesting though. And then the big thing, like he must have been, he must have died. Like I mean, like well, to be fair, I don't know. I have no clue like what Jabba's pairing was like. So maybe the big reveal. Well, Jabba seemed to care. Like in in the yeah. Clone Wars movie, like when. But then again, like isn't it like 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 looking at like it like in like a way like. In his position, it's kind of like, it's like a mess. Like, if you can kidnap my son, what the fuck does that say? Like about like my like power, you know? Well, I think that the person that helped in the kidnapping was Zero or whatever, like the other hut. So, oh, yeah, but like, yeah, but still, I think that it was a little bit more complicated than Jabba being an absentee. Person. No, but still, it's like, it's still like it's it's still a thing that like it's, if 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 someone can do that to me, like take my kid from me, like that's like. What what like what else can like some people do? Like, uh, how many people are gonna like, see this as like a chance like to see my power slip? You know? Yeah. Uh, the tw- the twins' presence was awesome though. In general, uh, the the CGI on them I thought was was good. I I personally like I I would have preferred puppets, but that's just me. Yeah, I think like it was just like I you I said like puppet master you. I think they were a bit like wonky in that like the sh- the shaping of them could like not shaping but like the shape of them and like just like how like the shape text- of water the, the twit t- hmm. their texture wasn't like was a bit wonk. Well, I've always found that that Hudson. Y'all ever want to fuck a fish or something? No, <laughs> I've heard that uh, that Hudson or not heard. I've the Hudson CG that we've seen in the films are always just kind of weird looking in my opinion. Like Jabba in Return of the Jedi is so good looking. To this day, mm. that it's that's because C- CG is hard to get like a weird slimy body like yeah. that. They just gotta yeah. get a, especially get like, I think like against like slime. real. Yeah. The other thing too, though, yes. I mean, on that front, is that really like fair though? Because like, I mean, they would be kind of dry on Tatooine, wouldn't they? Like, they'd be like, I think like like it's still like glossy, like sweaty, you know? Like, sure. Well, I, th- I, I more like slimy in that like they have a lot of flabs. Yeah. yeah, like well, they themselves are like a liquid body. I think you know? they don't they, they don't look gluttonous enough way. to me. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like how they, the fuck they... do they survive? They... <laughs> what up? Uh, Huts uh, survive now, simply the on the fact that they have become so powerful in the universe that they use everyone else around them. 
No, but how yeah. have they survived in the desert? Literally, like physically oh, in the desert? survived. Uh, mm. Slaves lathering them in water. <laughs> oh, really? Ow. Uh, Moisturized so, me. We're talking about the twins. Now. Moist- yeah, we're talking about the huts me. that showed up. Yeah. Yeah. The twins. I like names names or did, was it just the twins? They had, they had names. The twins. But the I twins think they had names. Well, we're going by twins. The twins. I yeah, I liked that. Uh, that the 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 dude one was more like he was the talker, and the and she seemed to want to kill him. Like she seemed to want to do bloodshed. Like let's do it. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> yeah. Like they had a cool dynamic going on. And actually, Kaz, you brought it up. I don't I don't know who said this, or maybe it was you, Connor. Uh, that most likely Connor. <laughs> that, are Did they slime them? Oh, because I was about the CG. I thought they were conjoined. Yeah, and honestly, that might it be makes the case. it should be. That'd be like, cool. Like they were very close together, and we might learn that they're just like stuck. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. That'd be a really cool, a cool like, thing in Star Wars. I think that would be like yeah. a different thing that we have. Also, seen. Um, what what's his nuts? Uh, did we talk about uh, the Wookiee? No, not yet. I think <laughs> that's a that's a good time to bring it up. Yeah, exactly. It'd be the- Black Kersantan. Ho. Lee shit. Black I Satin from the comic that. books. In the comics. So I was like, that's it's from fun. the comics, and he showed up, and I fucking freaked, dude. Yeah, because like back in the day, I was reading this, I was like, Black Crescent is such a cool character, but we'll never see this in live action because why would we? Why would they bring this character? Character, and no one's watching this. That that's making these movies. Uh, apparently not. Apparently, people care, and he's here. Yeah. This badass Wookiee that's fought okay. Chewbacca. Yep. To make it official, make a Lego figure, please. Come on, guys. Yes. It <laughs> might go. happen. They'll make a Lego figure of him before they would make one of Kuil. Probably. I'll let you. I'll let you guys know in the future if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Keep us updated on the on the Kuil Lego figure status. Yeah. But yeah, like that edition, like those things right there are moments in Star Wars where I'm like, see, there is the potential for all of these things to matter. Everyone says. Oh, these comic books, they don't matter. But they do. Like, and it, they are going to be taken from when things in them do work to the advantage of the show. And I love that. Like, Chrysanthemum is such a cool character. You don't see a lot of yeah. him, like, in, in the comics after... Uh, when was that? Uh, after he saves Aphra, I believe, in the first arc. But beyond that, like, there's so much potential with this character now, especially that he's here. I hope they don't kill him, though. That's my big thing with all these characters. Like I saw, I keep seeing Max in the in the bar, and I'm like, "Oh my god, he's gonna get shot one time." Like we're just gonna have this bar. Like, like, oh, don't die on me, old friend. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so that was awesome seeing Chrysanthemum. Like those, a yeah. character like that, that means anything's game, and anything is game at this point. So showing him, Triple Zero comes in, just murders everyone. I was pretty much going to say, like, Afra could show up. Like that is not. If Afra shows up, that'd be pretty dope. That is not. I don't like... know what any of this means. <laughs> yeah, you're a co- you're not a comic book. <laughs> there are. Uh... You're, you're a normie. There's I am. There's a. Uh, these are characters from the comics and stuff. Yeah, like uh, Chrysanthemum was Doctor Afra. In... Black Chrysanthemum, Triple Zero, BT. Yeah, she, he was involved in a group of uh, like archaeologist type people. What uh, what they essentially tried doing was making like the dark uh, like Star Wars team, where they have Doctor Afra as like the solo character, and then BT and Triple uh, Zero are like R two D two and C three PO, and then Black Chrysanthemum was Chewie. Mm. Yeah, and it worked pretty effectively uh, until they all tried to kill each other repeatedly, and then said the same. Yeah, working. I, I guess Darth Vader would have been like the Luke Skywalker. Yeah, I guess. That's weird. But yeah, it was a nice little ragtag group of people. Uh, so I would love to see more of that group come in. Like, it's crazy because Chrysanthemum is a character that's, through the comic books, touched so many different, like, lives in the Star Wars universe already. Like, he's hunted. Mm-hmm. Uh, he hunted uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, like, back in the day. He he might show up in the Kenobi show. Might, like, they might touch Wait, on that. I actually would be shocked. I would not be shocked at this point. Uh, he's been hired by Vader. He's fought Chewbacca. Like he's been in all these people's lives. It's so cool that mm-hmm. now he's here. Yeah. Uh, it is. Yeah. Like you, you were saying that, like 
you came up and you're like, oh my god, wait, is it? Is it him? Oh my god, is it? <laughs> yeah, like, I kept getting worried because I was like, it could just be like a really cool looking Wookiee. I was like, he doesn't have the scar, but he did have the scar. I was like, oh my god, he, but he has the shoulder pads and everything. He's, he, I was like, it's absolutely, like, who else would it be? But why would they design this character to look exactly like him but not make it him? It's, it's <laughs> so nice even in the fact that Boba, like, says things about Chris Anton's history. Like, because he's, he's they, they're aware of each other. Like, they're both... In yeah. the comic, when they, they worked first together introduced once. Chris Anton, they are introduced as Jabba's, like, best people, pretty much. Like, they're, like, his, yeah. his best uh, bounty hunters. So, yeah. Um, I honestly, when, when Chris Anton gave him a look, I almost had a moment where I was like, what if they've already talked, and he's already, like, on Boba's team, and he's like, yeah, like, but I'll fuck these people over. Because that's a very Chris Anton thing to do. Like, he did that all the time with Afra. Yeah, man. More more money. Yeah, like he backstabbed Vader for Afra, which is like a thing. Like oh, bro, that's oh. not something you would do normally. I'm I'm but, excited to see where he goes. I'm excited to see what happens with Black Shen. But then, the, I, I, like I was saying though, like that whole thing got kind of weirdly not resolved because, like, right yeah, because it immediately scene, went into the flashback. Yeah, like they went to the flashback. Then they which, also well, like Finnick also said, like she was like, like. I don't think it was res- like she's like. Do you think it's resolved? And he's like, no. But like, like, but like, not even like. I'm just talking about like going back into like the Twilex place. Uh, what's what was her name again? Garza. Yeah, like going back into her place, and like being like, okay, let's finish our conversation. What the hell were, you, were we talking about before yeah. the drum guy started up? No, I'm just gonna go sleep and go dream about my my Tuscan girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just gonna go chill out in the Polynesian spa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The spa. Now we can get to the flashbacks with the, the chemistry between the Tuscan Raiders, by the way. Well, they're absolutely going to bang, obviously, Kaz, right? <laughs> they're not. There's two people on this. On this, There's two versus two on this podcast. If, if <laughs> anyone else can, has an opinion on this, has a take Nick on Bye, the Do you think that Boba Fett and this Tuscan Raider are going to bang? Oh my god, don't fucking stop on this bullshit again. Test, test doesn't count. Test. <laughs> Test I'm just count, fucking okay? saying. Like, Girlfriends don't not. count. It doesn't count. I ship Tuskins with anything. <laughs> oh wait, are you on? You're on our side, Tess? Hey, All right, it counts now. It counts now. Tess count. don't count. Tess don't fucking count. Tess count. Mike, McBoy, do me a favor. Say you don't oh. count. McBoy, yeah. it has to be the fact that Tuskins and Boba can bang because honestly, I would be. It can't. It. It's hey, not cool. if you watch this, you would you would ship them. <laughs> Then I do not ship. Yeah, like that would that would be a tent I would not want to be sleeping beside. <laughs> yeah, be <laughs> <little pretty. laughs> here all night. I don't know who oh the second God. person is. Tuscan Raiders are like the the sand people of Tatooine. And there's a cool woman one in this show, and she's amazing. He's like so. She's so she. Well, I mean, she's teaching him how to wield a stick. Guys, come on. Hey, come man. On. He was like, I'm a badass, like, I could mess you up. And she was like, oh, yeah? I could mess you up. And then when she messed, when he messed her up in that way, you, he, she messed her and up, you gotta, up even worse. It was so good. You gotta grip the stick and you gotta swing it around properly. She was teaching him all these moves. Yeah, and I he'll teach her that, like, some other moves, you know what I'm saying? I love that Boba is like... She knows the desert way, but he knows the... I don't know, I guess, like, the Boba is like actively way. learning so from the Tuscans, And I, I really do find that cool. Yeah, like I also find it fun, like I said, he's very much a family man. Like he's like, <laughs> now I'm gonna sim for her. <laughs> See, and, we, uh, got, we got McBuy on oh this on our side too. I, I, I can't believe this. Sorry, what was you... that, Connor? He's like, I just want to help out families. You know, that's not right. That's not cool. Yeah, it's not cool that these people are getting fucked in the way they are. Honestly. All right, and then they get a train. Right. Oh, <laughs> that shit was cool. And like, yeah. I love seeing like. Empire. Boba to communicate to the Tuscan. It's not the Empire; it's the Pikes. No, no, no. It's like it's like the train scene in Shadows of the Empire. Oh yeah, for, for all those oldies playing. Well, I thought it was more like the Mandalorian two, season two. Or we could even train? say it was Solo with the ice train. Oh yeah. Just look oh, See, the everyone's Chronotop whipping Sands. out every single trip. Or it was like three ten to Yuma when they fucking attacked the train and the cowboy because it literally was. <laughs> or, Guys, or I don't want to be that guy, but that scene was literally ripped out of every single cowboy movie and Lawrence of Arabia and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All wrong. <laughs> yeah. It was clearly the little engine that could. Come on, guys. Oh my god. Oh, big brain. And then he goes. 
I liked that because, like, I need this show to show us more of the syndicates that we're aware of at this state. Like, and so I hope that Boba, like, now in the in the present time will deal with the pikes that we saw in this episode even. I'm glad they, they actually brought the pikes into, like, live action too. Well, pikes have, were in in Solo. Yeah, weren't they? I thought they were in the main, like, main ship. I don't remember I was like the, in, in that. I, I think remember. that... Pikes I were really in like Solo because episode. they were on Kessel. So... Hmm. Because they're always just shown with, like, the hexagonal heads or whatever the fuck they're wearing. Like, that's that's their main gimmick. And you just never see them with other faces on. Or with other masks on. So, I think mean, to, in this episode, did in this we finally one. saw them like that. And I like them. They look cute. I wanted to kiss their little fish faces. But, like, <laughs> but oh, I needed oh, their yeah. eyes to be a little bit different. Because they just had a little bit of weirdness. Like the, Oh, them? No, no. Oh, I was thinking of something else. The Clone Wars versions look very, like, slender and... Really yeah, necks really are gross. tall and weird. Like, the ones are definitely way better. Yeah, I I think that I think that there are there are also avenues to say that these are just like different versions of them too. Like the live action. These are a different fatter. pike race. Yeah, the just like race different races. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit! The, I won't lie. The pikes look really cool on uh, in Solo. Their designs look cool. Did they Those show them exist. out of the masks or do they just have them? No, no, no it's in the like, in the armor and shit. Yeah. But yeah, so it was cool seeing like the fact that there's like still that syndicate even running around at this point, because uh, I th- I do think that that's something we're gonna see for Boba Fett in the actual present timeline that he's gonna deal with the Pikes and yeah even he's gonna even blow them ones. up and they're all gonna go away and he's gonna be the only syndicate left. You think? I like no, that. Like, obviously not. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Could be. I'd like that encounter though. Like, just like, just I thought, I thought it's like, cause like, I don't well, know. Like, what, before that, he has to get the bikes. What spice? The bikes nah. or the pikes? The, 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 the pike bike. We'll, we'll get to the bikes in a second. But like, I, like, I'm just gonna say, like, I, like, the fight I really like. I, is that sooner? That's after. Um, oh, this is at the end. Sorry, I'm at, this is all at the end. The fight pike bike? Yeah. Oh, no, the, they, the they pike... steal, they steal the bikes what are you at this time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the, next, the, the pike, next thing pike, pretty pike. much that happened in the episode was when, yeah, when Bobo, like, looked out at, and saw, like, the, the raiders that he saw in the last episode, which again shows how this ep- this show is kind of Mando-esque, and I always, I gotta give it more than than that first episode, because that first episode I was like, eh. But now... It shows stuff, and then it, it shows you a thing, and later. you're like, this is gonna be important, because the next episode, it was those guys that just did the Assassin's Creed symbol on the house. That was, mm. <laughs> it was those oh, guys. Oh, them! Yeah, because like so, uh, yeah, on, on that's got to be Luke's house. Oh no, it's not. That's, that idiot. is Luke's. That is Luke's I don't know, house. Man, Why would it be Luke's all house? Up in the air. That totally could have been Luke's. It totally could have been Luke's. House. I think it was Luke's. Or house. it literally could have been any of the countless houses in the middle of the desert. I don't know, man. We but thought that, that one too, had the house but it's pretty close and the to hump. Hump. It had the whole. That, that was pr- that was pretty then, close. Then to why the why would it be close to Mos Espa? The wrong one. Guys, I, I guess, already looked it up, but I can tell you exactly whose house it was. Who was it? It's a storm coming, Annie. You better get inside it's quick. that old lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, like, it was those people, and I love that connective tissue, like, between this and that. Like, that that gang was the same people. So it shows that, and possibly that Pike thing will come back in, like, even the next episode or some shit. Like, but then they go to Tashi Station. Yeah. <laughs> And they pick up some power converters. Uh, no, now, now no, fun fact. Dr- pardon, Connor? <laughs> he, he, he picks up um, a, a really nice drink. <laughs> oh, he does. It, was, it sounded very satisfying. I'll say that. <sighs> Mandel- uh, or uh, <sighs> Boba goes in <sighs> with a stick and a gun. <laughs> and, and he goes he, to kill these he guys. He proceeds to break and- the gun on one of the guy's backs. And then he's like, ah, well, I only got the stick. And he kills the rest of them. Well, he doesn't kill them, but like, knocks them out. And I, I gotta he say, knocks, I gotta say for those, he knocks them out in the mid- middle of the desert and takes their bikes. So yeah, those pretty much hardcore kills fans out there that know these things, those two people in the in I the bar, this. I don't remember their names. I didn't look it up. I'm sorry. I think one of them is Candy or something like that. Uh, but yeah, like those two people in the bar were in the deleted scene with Luke Skywalker, uh, talking about they're I think they're at Toshi Station in that scene. And it's with Biggs, the guy with the mustache, and he's like, they're like talking about like going off world. Pardon? 
Biggs Darklighter. Biggs Darklighter, yeah. Mm. They're going talking about going off world and like that, 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 and those two are in that scene. So, holy crap, more connective tissue, more things that like actually go into like the the deep tissue of Star Wars like that that make you so these uh, two appreciate this. I've just been chilling now at Tashi Station for fucking ten years. Probably man, like, for Luke. It's, a, it's a hard he, life on Tashi. Luke said he'd come. He Luke said he'd come get those power converters, and they've been waiting. I'm like, pretty sure they've heard of his situation. Station, still waiting he, for that. They, yeah, he said he said they'll meet him there, and like they're still waiting. Like, Have you guys homies. seen Luke? Luke Skywalker. He said he'd coming back for these. <laughs> but yeah, whenever, uh, whenever uh, Timura Morrison like whips out like the fucking Maori fighting style thing in the show, like that yeah. also just kills it. Like when he was whooping their asses in that bar. It's pretty cool seeing how like. Like, how much he's like, brings his culture into it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just like that. That's really cool yeah. to see, because, like, like, not a, I, I think it's pretty cool that the showrunners, like, allow it as well, in a way, because, like, not a lot of places would, like, allow, like, I think, I'd imagine, well, cause I would, would allow, say that, like, like you it's, want to bring... It's something that wasn't really a part of Boba before. Like, most of the times you see Boba yeah. in the old stuff, he's never really doing, like, hand-to-hand combat. He's usually doing stuff where he's shooting you from afar in a badass way or using his rockets to, like... Oh, but I think, like, yeah, like, this like, this has, like, more, like, flavor and character. Yeah, it so I think, like, it's more pretty like cool to see. brutal style. Like, it shows Boba as yeah. more of, like, a guy who will, like, smash you down. He gets his hand dirty, and he doesn't yeah, he's, mind. He's unrelenting. Um, the train fight was actually really good. Like, you know, like... I love the train fight. Really yeah. Uh, um, yeah, we're missing the training part where he teaches them how to ride bikes. That's the best. Oh, that, that was the best yeah. fucking scene, or the best that fucking was... moment of the. I, I that... I'm gonna say what I said. Sorry, Connor. Go on. You. I'm gonna say what I say after. Before like Sam steals it. Go on, Connor. Connor. Connor, Connor. What? Uh, sorry. What were you gonna say? <laughs> what were you gonna say before? Like I kept cutting you off. No, I was saying that the the, the train scene was the best scene. The whole. The whole thing. Like I think, favorite. I think my favorite bit was uh, the the, uh, the speed of it, but like the train bit, like very close second, but like the um, the speeders. I was saying to Sa- I, I said Sam and Connor when we were watching it, this is what f- the Phantom Menace wanted to be. Oh right, and I feel like and I feel like in the moment, like it was more like it's a lot more like euphoric, a euphoric moment. It was almost like all you know. You said it there. Yeah, it, like it felt more powerful when you said it. Like watching you, you guys just sit there in silence when I said that made me make, make me kind of die inside. I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus, man, <laughs> I'm jo- I don't know what you want me to do. Congratulations for having such a yeah, profound give, give me, give me, give me a cheek. Give Whoa, me a medal, man. Like better than Phantom me, Menace. Give me the McClunky Squadron login, please. This is my stream now. No, no. <laughs> I would ask everyone. No. <laughs> my favorite thing is because I actually have it, so it's great. You do? I do. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I like. How else am I setting up your commands? That's true. I guess you got me there. <laughs> you got me there, Bucko. Like I've just been hacking into like my clunky just to help you guys. Yeah, yeah I, I, mean, I think I, I one was... of the one of the best moments of of the episode for sure was I when Boba was like training the uh, training the Tuscan Raiders to do the, mm. the speeders because it was a, it was a good like trade in theory because like they're teaching him how to survive out here and how to fight uh, against them in that capacity. <laughs> Uh, and, yeah. and he's teaching them his ways, his ways of like, this is technology, and this is what will help us defeat these uh, these kind of invaders on your land that are that are randomly killing you. Might I add, like that's something else that I noticed where it's like this train is going by, and like it's so far away, and suddenly just blast, blast, blast. And I'm like, why are you even bothering, man? Like they're just around, dude. <laughs> They yeah. just vibe and yeah. like, ah. Why do you gotta kill the like, Banthas? Hey, fuck those guys. <laughs> fuck those Banthas, apparently. Like, that's what died every single fight, too, is a Bantha got nailed right away. <laughs> yeah, dude. Every At both fights, they just aim for the fucking Banthas. Like, bro. Well, get get the transport out. Bro, why do you gotta have. Uh, first of all, Tuskins, put your Banthas in the back or something like that. What are you doing? Put your Banthas right. in the back. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get it. Like, they just go. They drop immediately in the fight. Well, apparently, people online are. Well, they are Banta father. They don't think that that Tuscan is a female. What? They're like, they're like, why do these? Why, uh, why are there no female Tuscans in the in the camp? I'm like, are you dumb? I'd be like, uh, the main one that is dealing with him, dumbass, is a woman. <laughs> you guys need to hear that. I think you guys know. Like, I like, I won't lie. I, I like, I like. To be fair, I just, I just assumed 
the Raiders have no gender in that sense. Like, what? It's not something like. No, it's like I like I don't like it's like I don't see you like how like we know it. Or All how right, you guys know it's female. All right, bring keep keep out your fucking. <laughs> no, I'm not even being a liberal, you dumbass. <laughs> you're, I'm not even being liberal a, views about a gender. Star Wars and Justice Warrior. I'm not being a Star Wars Justice Warrior right now. I'm not sure for a No, like I like purely. Sorry, go on. Yes, Kaz, God damn. <laughs> so I'm, I, I'm trying to defend myself. I know. Go on, Tess, sorry. Stop defending yourself for a minute. <laughs> I said, didn't you see those giant Tuscan titties? I wasn't <laughs> yeah, looking at. Exactly. I'll be, I'll be fairly honest. Give me a minute. Give me a there minute, boys. There were even shots of like other Tuscans walking around with big gazankas. Oh, oh my! It's not yeah, big. like they the, big. They're, they're, and these Tuscan raiders, we use them danger. <laughs> but people are like, oh, these. The, the, why are there no female Tuscans? I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> the main Tuscan that's teaching him is a female. I also or really appreciated. Appears the, to be. Uh, I, I appreciated ne- the. The anthem. Yeah. I appreciated the fact that Boba was so like caring of the other Tuscans, like he made like an actual effort to save that one Tuscan raider. Whereas like yeah. I, normally like the Boba I know, like in the comics or whatever, would be like, fuck it. Like not part of the mission, like he'll die. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's just a Tuscan. So like it's nice that Boba actually is like showing this character development that he's like, no, I care about these people enough to try to save them. To save them from like immediate danger, even like the train thing is a thing where it's like, yeah, this is like, this is something that's just affecting you in general, but this is an immediate like, eh. All right, I'm gonna look at the episode again while you guys talk, and I'm gonna bring up some stuff. Oh, fucking making me open fucking Disney Plus right now. No, I'm going Which to has... do it. You don't have to do shit. Are you are are you, you send me the going, proof? What are you going to I don't up? believe what are you bring up. Wait, wait. I'm just, no, just I, finding out there's actually look. female Tuscan Raiders. I'm curious now. There are. What are you talking there about? I, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Oh the main goodness. one in like the black suit, like the all I'm looking at is like the like SJW. Like I didn't. You don't, you don't even. You, you don't even need to like. You don't even need to look at her baps to know that she's female. She's like all oh like, moves and stuff. I'm not content. Half the time I'm working, half the time actually I'll have you know. <laughs> I'm like I'm barely looking at the We're screen. R- Every ripping on. I know you like you're not even giving me like no fucking respect. No, no respect. respect. Right, exactly, boy. But like, also like that. Like that's 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 what we want. Like, can't <laughs> find them. Not now. Go away. Go go away, five fucks. Uh, best Plus. character in the episode: the robot driving the train. Though I gotta. Oh say my that. god! Oh, yeah. What, what, yeah, what a fucking! That. I what love that king. robot driving the the train. Just kept looking back. Like eh, shit, shit's not going well. I guess we're gonna go faster. Faster. Go. Can go faster. Going faster. Faster. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna one. rewatch this. Um, what was I looking at this specifically for? Are you bang, trying to find bang, how many female bang, Tuscans there are? What are you doing right now? No, I was <laughs> counting Sorry. one, two, three, four. Send me a screen. Tuscan War. Okay, just... I'm, I oh, don't no, give please. a Kaz. I don't give a shit about your inability to d- differentiate. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for something else. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> you guys are like destroying me. Like I'm, I'm trying to just like, I'm just trying to learn here. That droid was the proto Grievous. Or actually, I guess this is after Grievous. But like, he, he jumped out of the ship and he did like the Grievous walk. Mm. Oh wait, that droid was like a true MVP. Yeah, he he, right. he was really just getting her going. His whole thing, faster, faster, faster. Also, wait, hold on. I'm just a little bit after that. I need to talk about. We need to talk about Boba's bad trip. Boba's <laughs> bad trip. That's what the episode should have been called. It would have been more fitting. Oh than my the god, yeah. Of tattooing the Boba's bad trip. Ernest goes to camp. Yeah. So was it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that that drug trip was like what honestly one of the cooler parts of the thing. Just the process of even it happening, like I when he got in the tent with them immediately in that situation, I was like, oh god, here it goes. That's the huge man. <laughs> pass the pass the the peace pipe, bro. And then uh, and the whole pass process the- of it with the lizard and shit like that, like that was just brutal, man. <laughs> I was like, do we? Re- I don't think we really need that, but still cool, I suppose. I thought at first it was just gonna be a little pet for Boba to have, and then it was gonna die in the next episode. But yeah, <laughs> fucking don't like stuff it. lizards up your nose. Apparently, you gotta clean that shit, man. You have like a whole bunch of other people to do the COVID tests. Come on, <laughs> Boba came back positive. Keep him away. <laughs> that's no, why- that's a trip. I don't know the fuck you're looking at, man. I can't, I don't see shit. Are you actually looking right Are now? Are you actually? Yeah, I'm actually trying to. I'm, 
Jesus I'm Christ, trying to decipher. Man. The main one, at least, the main one that he deals with, you, can you acknowledge, is a woman? I can I can see it, but at the same time, I don't see it at the same time. Kaz's so I'm just saying yes. It, for me it's on, like, in the, the design, face. man. They're, they're making them out to be more feminine. There are I don't certain see Tuscans it. That have it's just like just the one looks slender. Like, like they look she, like that one looks more slender than some of the other ones. I guess like you, like you can say the fucking hair like the threads on her head are like her hair. I guess, but I don't know, man. I don't I don't see it. I've closed Firefox. It's too fucking late. <laughs> I'm I've resigned. That like fine. It's a it's a woman, but I don't fucking see. Let's see what you see. I'm gonna. I see no T's, is what I'm saying. But I like that in the uh, in his acid trip, he kind of like went through kind of like a, a second birth, I would say almost like a like a renewing. Oh yeah, I know. What I was gonna look up now. I was gonna see if the guy's eye falls off. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what um, I'm looking up here. <laughs> I, I also I also want to point out. I, I saw it coming a mile away when he came back with the stick. I'm like, ah, gaffy stick. There we go. There's the gaffy Mixed stick. Mm. I have that in Fortnite. Now I know how it was made. You feel you feel proud. Hell yeah, that's all I like to hear. But uh, yeah, and then just in the vision in general, oh like God. the fact that he was seeing like the the whole like Camino. sea. Well, that too, but he was seeing like the oh, sea sorry, of Tatooine. I don't know if that's what that was meant to really be, but they did mention that in the tent beforehand, like that the seas used to be like yeah. crazy on Tatooine. All right, a guy's eye doesn't fall off; it's already off. Like. <laughs> Uh, like just, I uh, think that's funny. <laughs> uh, pardon, Connor. Do you imagine just watching this guy high as shit dragging a stick back? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying on the, when I was talking, like when we watched it last night. Like, can you just imagine like coming across this guy, just laying in hey, the buddy. sand? Like, do you guys see those words coming down in the sky, man? Whoa! I found this stick, oh. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars okay? Episode One: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like holds, like he plugs one nostril and shoots out a lizard out the other. Oh. What's the lizard doing in there? Because it was in there for at least a couple hours. So was it just obviously vibe? it was just vibing? It was it was messing with his brain. I think it was like licking the the stuff that like that you put in his the nose. mucus, like that. Because obviously, mm-hmm. like the the powder is what attracted the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the powder is what attracted the lizard into his like system. Mm. So I think it wanted it did that. System, yeah. It was like the whole like yeah. it was like an attractant to it or something. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, it showed the Sarlacc, it showed Camino, it showed like a bunch of shit from Boba's past, like he's he's growing up from it. Or he's get he's getting through some shit that like is affecting his past. Things that are holding him back, like actually, like the Sarlacc, so he's getting through those like those physical mm. like restraints that are actually holding him there. Ah, juxtaposition. That's good. That's yeah. good. Nice eye. See that? That's what they. That's why I aced it in English class because I'd be able to watch this episode and write that kind of crap, and they'd be like, "Ah, oh, oh, he actually knows why the curtains were blue." <laughs> like, oh my god, that fucking bullshit, man! Like I always love that. Yeah, yeah like like, oh, the curtains are blue because it's sad. The why writer, the writer, kind of blue because the, I don't know, blue. It tied the room together, I guess. Fucking yeah, bullshit. bro. I'm, I'm looking at like these observations and like uh, I'm, I'm just looking at a bunch of stuff about the episode. Like, did no one kill anyone else that the fucking Rancor died after eight, eight years? <laughs> All right. And, did no and, like, one else is... tell them that it got killed by a fucking door in the movie? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and, and this guy's supposed to be like a, a professional assassin. Didn't he do his goddamn research on the place? <laughs> I mean, fair enough on that front, but eh. <laughs> like, I think that that one could just be chopped up to, like, potentially there being... Because, like, like like we said, like, Jabba, like, potentially had more than just the rank mm. for you. I think it would be actually cool to see something like that. Like, I hope Boba does get a thing in this show. Like, he gets, like, a monster to, like, put... Like a Rancor in. egg. I don't know if I want another Rancor. Like, that'd be cool, but if it was something else, like, hell yeah. I, what was that thing in... Uh, I don't know if, like, you didn't like the Force Unleashed games, did you? They're okay. Um... Like well, there's that thing. Probably had more questions about the hallucination inducing lizard. Uh, sorry, what, Connor? He's gonna get the centaur from the first episode. Oh my god! <laughs> You're crazy. By the by the way, Connor, there's something up with your uh, with your uh, microphone. We're gonna have to fix that uh, for next time or something like that, or for Friday's right. stream. 
Every now and then, yeah, like, he, like I, you well, can't it's, hear it's him. It's just that literally, like, it's something that, like, I can hear you two when you talk. But when, if you two talk and Connor talks, it just doesn't, his audio just doesn't pick mm-hmm. up at all. But it, it's, like, like, it's something that we can figure out. Eh. It's all good. It just it just cuts you off a lot, and I'm, I'm I apologize for that. So, uh, but yeah, and then pretty much the episode wraps up with uh, Boba getting his robes that we see him in in Mando season two, or I guess season one mm-hmm. for his foot we see, <laughs> but mm-hmm. his, yeah. his his whole reveal in the whole season two episode one. So that was Bro, fun, f- cool. I can't find it's a any fan and a half. I, I can't say. find any info about the fucking Tuscan that's training him. It doesn't have a name. It's not like it's like Uruk guy. Uruk guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we pointed out how funny <gasps> it is that like the That's Tuscans outfits that they're giving him are like it's just black and layered as shit. So yeah, he like he's can, can you guys stop, please? The hottest <laughs> outfit in the world to be wearing on. To Tatooine. be fair, to be fair, that's the thing though, isn't it? Like insulation. Yeah, it's probably just warm at night, and then it probably during the heat and like. The wrappings it probably shields you from the sun more like. Well, like black yeah. though, but that black? should absorb. Like. Yeah. <sighs> I okay, guys. Here's the test. We're gonna put you out in this Boba Fett outfit in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Let's see how long you last. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Honestly, <laughs> it'd be hilarious. Like, I wish we had the budget like, to. <laughs> well, if we had, if we had the budget to test shit like that, uh, that it'd would be, be hilarious. Amazing. All right. So today we're flying out to the Sahara Desert. We're gonna be putting on some robes and walking through the desert. Just to see how long we can last. Just, to just see, see Boba Fett. Test, see Boba wanna... Fett's a little bitch or something. <laughs> like that. I don't know. I die in ten minutes. Yeah. Oh my god. AJ passes out before he even puts it on. Bro, I I can't deal with heat. I would absolutely be past like past. Some... Wait a minute, McBuy. You you live in Australia and you can't handle heat. I'm from India. McBuy, you can do this test for us. Go outside. Put like she says she'll die in ten minutes. Fucking robes on of black yeah. robes. Go put on a bunch of black robes and go out in, in on like a nice warm day, and and see how long it lasts. Report back to us, please. <laughs> Give us the information. <laughs> we shall be waiting eagerly. And then uh, we wrap the episode. Oh, yeah, Connor. No, then. Oh, what? Uh, we wrap the, <laughs> we wrap the episode up pretty much with the greatest dance I've ever seen in Star oh Wars. My God. Dude, I got hype watching that last night. Uh, and even they're like they're like Maori style dance. Yeah, Ma- mm. Maori warrior dancing thing. Maori, like, yeah. See, so like now, and I'm gonna say this again. You mean my usual alpha of black? Yeah. I'm gonna say this again because I know, and I know I'm wrong, but just my interpretation immediately felt so so like cute almost. Where like, I swear it was like it was like the movements that she was teaching him in combat. But then I just really like the idea that the Tuscans all like joined in as kind of like a a celebration for Boba Fett there, for like the fact mm. that they acknowledge his like. I don't know. Oh, I she's know doing it. Was, she's doing she's it. He's joined him. You said you're gonna do it now, McBuy. You got to do it. He said that like I I mean I get that like it is just like maybe their like their ritual thing or whatever you want to call it, but. I still Ooh, like that right? idea a little bit, where it's like that would be so cute. Also, another thing, Kaz. Even if the the Tuscan isn't actually a female, and we're just we're just looking at that, they could still get together. Yeah, what are you yeah, saying? No, I'm they not. Can't get together. I'm not now, saying you're that. You being a, a fuck- you little bitches acting. Oh, oh this, oh that. Fuck you, the lot of you. I'm just saying in general. <laughs> fuck the lot I'm of just saying you. <laughs> fuck the lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. They can still uh, get together. Regardless, there Inter- is no chemistry between that Tuscan no Raider. No chemistry. That's where you're fucking there, wrong. You're wrong. Can't there you was a lot of that friendship. They are vibing in in a friendly way. There's like chemistry me and Connor and me and you. Kaz, well, to be fair, that me and you. If you tell me that we don't have same with same with AJ. I have chemistry with all three. Same with you, Connor. To be fair, as me and you, Kaz. Excuse me. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you now, AJ. Fuck you. Said there, there you know that week we spent together when Sam wasn't here? Fuck you. I'm saying we ha- we have a lot of chemistry and they have the same amount. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I want more. You want more chemistry? Yeah. Well, get your ass over here, man. So you want Fuck them you, to man. bang? <laughs> no, yeah. I want me and AJ to bang. Oh, you want you and Idiot. AJ to bang. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's all we have. <laughs> I'm standing with the shit. Yeah, the main point, if you believe the, the that Boba, what are your stances going forward on... <laughs> That's the question for the All day. All right. Question for the day. Favorite part? What are your stances? 
Oh, favorite part. That's a hard. Uh, s- speed bike training. I like the speed bike training. Was- it, it was hilarious, and like it was like it, like as I AJ said, AJX Kaz KJ. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna say my favorite part was probably Black Santon and the huts showing up. The twi- yeah, the I, I was I was gonna say that one, but then like the speed bike, right, I was like, you can't mm-hmm. you can't have two favorites, AJ. Come on now. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm saying the speed bike. Pick is your favorite. boyfriend now. Speed bike. <laughs> Thank you. But the black or Santa. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what was your favorite part, Connor? What? What was your favorite part? Specifically, uh, the robot hmm. on the train. Speeder bike. Speeder bike. I got so many people on the speeder bike against me right now on the fucking black or Santa thing. I mean, like, hey, I, like dude, that's I, a very I, close I second. Like, I love that part, man. I feel like I can be justified. No, I have no fucking clue. Black, black Crescenton is. I mean, fair if enough. If you did it's know who like Black the... Crescenton was, you would be just in your pants. It's right kind of like the. All I know is it's basically looks like Toffel and it's Black Chewbacca, basically. All right, don't need to be race into this, man. I'm not bringing race into it. Is his first black, and his name is Black. Exactly. It's black Black Crescenton. I feel like it'll be a thing that that like also in- increases in potential as we go on. Like he'll probably it'll probably he'll probably be a character that shows up and actually does yeah. something. So I hope so. I feel like yeah, like it's then, like, it's then like... they're gonna have their own spin-off series oh, of no. Black or Santon. Don't you don't say that. It's set on Tatooine and they can focus on the Tusken Raiders again. Although, it's based would you on Kashyyyk and the, the, showed up the, the, the droid like, attack on the Wookiees. If he just showed up as like a fucking bodyguard type person for him, like that'd be so cool. Like switch you know that might happen. Character. I'd love it. Have a Wookiee on the team. Well, that sounds like it doesn't fit his character. Why not? Yeah, it does. They oh, worked sorry. together before. As long as I'm you can pay him, he'll be fine. My, mis- my mistake. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me, please. Yeah, they've worked well together. Just hey, rate this better than the last episode, or? Yeah, I would say. I think this, this episode, episode was better. Yeah. I like I this one a lot more. I think this episode, nine out of ten. Like the last episode, I came out of feeling kind of like, like, hmm, that was weird. But like, I are we, are we KJ or a jazz? It's ah, uh, a jazz. I feel cause it's it's almost more Greek. It's closer to Ajax. <laughs> yeah. So like, a jazz is what I'm vibing with. Uh, but. But yeah, so what do you guys think is going to happen going forward? Like, what are some things you think is going to happen in the next I think episode? he's going to fucking I think me those and AJ are going to get married and have kids. Well, obviously, oh, but I think oh, we're talking oh, about Star Wars right now. Oh, so, oh so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, we're, I'm going to have to talk about si- to Sai about that, though. Uh, uh, that's fine. Like, we, we, can, we can go on. I'm going to have to, like, break it off with her, I mean. Yeah, yeah thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so imagine Sai's watching this movie. Hang on, now. She gives you a call. Like, please. Don't. We'll continue. Um, you saying, Connor? I I don't know what's going forward. I have no clue what they're. Black Crescenton is gonna be like, "Hey, pay me more, and I'll kill them for you." And then Boba Fett's like, "Yeah, man, do it." And then Black Crescent whips out a fucking jetpack, flies out there, bursts through the roof of of Jabba's palace, or I guess Boba's palace now. Flies over uh, to uh, like flies miles to get back to the to the huts. Lands on their heads, shoots down at one of them, kicks the other one in the nose, and then rips like rips his head off. Okay, now, it's like so idea. funny if specifically what AJ just said actually occurred. Like, that would be the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> the way that that was being written, I imagine that just, like, when, I, every time I see that Robert Rodriguez is the one making the series, I picture it very, like, Sharkboy and Lava Girl-esque, where, like, the, yeah. the scripts for this show must just be, like, the most important things happen in our dreams. <laughs> that kind of shit from fucking Sharkboy and Lava Girl. Oh, shit. Is that an actual line? Three, yeah, dude. He made three episodes. Like, shit. Guys, did you know who, who played the, the hut? Who? It was Drew Lopez. <laughs> that is a good joke. That would actually have been amazing if that were true. I'm electric. It's, it's not... I'm Mr. Electric. <laughs> I don't get what this means. Shark? Have you it's never John, seen Sharkboy John, and Lava I've Girl? never seen Bro, Sharkboy and Lava Girl. John Leguizamo. Sam, you know me. Guys, uh, name, I think that we na- need to never have Kaz on the show again. What the hell, Kaz, man? You, you're like, clearly a fake fan. Yeah, the Kaz doesn't know who Black Chrysanthemum is. Kaz doesn't, hasn't seen Sharkboy and Lava Girl, the quintessential movie <laughs> in Star Wars. Like, come on. <laughs> that's like the canon that's holding this thing together. The, the You guys know the fates that Yoda meets in Clone Wars? They're sitting watching fucking Shark Boy and Lava Girl all day. That's what they're doing. <laughs> 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 fucking Connor's reaction. All right. 
I hate this. <laughs> oh, that hurt. They're just like, we don't really care what happens here. Luke and Vader, they're doing whatever the fuck, but... Have you seen the Shark Boy and Lava Girl shit? Did you know they made a okay. sequel 20 years ago? They made a sequel to that shit? Yeah. Wait. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. Okay, last moment. Last thing we're going to talk about because th- that's the end of the episode. Uh, that That's all that. Here's a total side tangent just for the last second. Did you guys know that they made a reboot of the House Hippo commercial? No. You said that. I said that to you because I was just sitting wa- eating my fucking NW burger. And suddenly on the TV it says, 20 years ago... <laughs> 20 years ago, a little friend uh, tantalized households <laughs> everywhere. And it's like a little tiny thing running across the screen. And when I tell you guys, I jumped out of my seat probably just as equivocally as when I saw baby fucking Yoda the first I'll time. I'll skip 2.0 here. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I thought you were joking. No, I'm being real. It's fucking... I'm watching it right now, guys. I'm watching it right now. You're getting a live reaction of AJ watching the house hippo. Sorry, what? Are you not watching it? I thought you were watching it. I'm watching it, yeah. Oh, I said we're getting a live reaction of you watching the house hippo. Oh, there he is. (laughs) There he is. See, that's Uh. fascinating to me. Thank you, Canada, for bringing that back. My mom was (laughs) looking at me like I was some sort of psychopath. She was like... I like, do. Th- this came out in 2019. And I think I do remember like hype around it. She but... literally like she was like, but you know that's because it's fake, right? And I'm like, yeah, mom, I'm aware there's not a fucking house hippo running around the house. <laughs> Imagine the like you like wait, hang on, mom, what? You have no. Oh, McBuy, look up, look up Canadian ads house hippo. I think you put it in the Discord as well uh, at one point. Speaking of what, Connor? A fantastic time. Yeah, really. Okay, so, every so McFly, watching the VOD. So also, McFly, the house hippo is a the Canadian house. commercial uh, based around real creatures we have in in Canada. All, all right, he's gonna hippos. like go on with all that fake shit, but like realistically, this is an ad that was about like tricking people into not thinking. Or right, if you also want another, if you also want another good Canadian commercial, look up. Um, Don't you put uh, it in your mouth? Boy. Don't you put it in your mouth is a good one. But what was that one where? Like I, I like making sound effects. Like the whole commercial for that one. What's your thing? What's your thing? Yeah, what's that's your a thing? Classic Canadian ad. Look, look up what's your thing Canadian commercial or Canadian ad, and that one is prime. <laughs> like that one is prime time. But yeah, I think uh, I think we're wrapping it up there then. Yep. Yeah. Right. Right. Do you guys have anything else you want to talk about from the episode? Any other like final Make thoughts? Bye. Make, one second, McBuy. Your your uh, homework is to watch those and then report back to us and what you what you think. No, she actually like she won't go to sleep if you make her do that. It's only there's only like a minute long. They're fine. Yeah, but like I don't know what she like. <laughs> She'll go to sleep. Um, no, I'm good. I'm all done. Okay, sounds good, McBuy. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, mm-hmm. a couple. It's one fifty p.m. for you. <laughs> nice. Wow, you got plenty of time. Uh, got plenty of time, yeah. Um, I think. Oh, okay. It's Wednesday today, so two days from now, we're streaming Terrifying Territory of Roro uh, at same time that the stream started. And yeah, so we'll be back for session ten of that of that uh, this week. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited, you. man. Neil I'm excited Bob. to you guys burn down a, the No Bogs Hob. A homicidal Earth Genasi in a, in a. Yeah, bro, what the fuck? I know, like, he, like, they were just vibing as well, like, I've never seen I was, at, more... I, I was like, alright, I mean, it's chill. And then yeah, this guy's like, I'm gonna kill them all. <laughs> the face of an AJ made, alright, it's chill. <laughs> <laughs> just some goblins, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> just starts... <laughs> they, yeah, they were straight up vibing. But yeah, so no you'll, uh, you'll be able to see how that situation concludes, uh, or not concludes, uh, on Friday. God. Yeah, like, we'll see what happens. Or, or we might just run and burn the place down like before. Please don't run. No what? <laughs> <laughs> that's such a DM moment. Please don't run. I think that's like the in, like please just in the most desperate voice ever. Please, please, please. Please, please don't, don't run. run. Please don't run. Please, please don't you run. You could run, but you can't hide. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yep. Kaz, do you want to say, do you want to say the... Yeah, sure. All right, so uh, thanks. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, if you've been lurking or watching the VOD, we really appreciate that. Hope you're um, 
you've have a one had a wonderful evening. Uh, here's the links to our Discord. Um, we also have uh, a YouTube channel where we upload these vods, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to pull them up quickly because I don't have it open. Uh... <laughs> but other than that, we can also raid into someone. Why are you guys making faces? Stop making faces. We're not making faces. Making oh. face. AJ's making the talkie hands at you, and then I'm f- middle fingering AJ. You guys literally, what? This is the you give me one job and you're making fun of me for doing He's it. He's like, making fun of you. I'm defend. I'm I'm middle fingering I'm, him. To you, you're I doing it to just a wall. I'm doing it to you. In in my opinion, in my in my view. Uh, I can't find my, my eyes. Sputtering. And then to Kaz up here, and then to Connor over here. Who are we raiding? Who are we raiding? Are we were doing we raiding in some D and D people or what are you feeling? Uh, um, it, let's see. We have Papillon. Papillon. The only person Papillon that I have is, streaming right now two. is Moonlight RPG. In those three rooms. Oop. Is that raid message by the way? I shall have a look on my end. Uh, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. I can't find the the link for our VOD, but we'll get a command for that soon. Happy yabby. Yeah, and we'll be uploading. Uh, I have plans to upload the Cantrip Cast uh, tomorrow. Yeah. The, the next episode of the live stream we... or, or the Roar stream is going to go up. I think that's session four. That one? Oh, I have a friend who's streaming have... the aisle. Oh Ten my sessions? god! What? They're going to become my best friend. Hey, let me <laughs> let me. Wow! Don't worry, don't worry, Connor. Don't worry. Thanks, thanks, Sam. Thank, thanks, Sam. You guys have nothing to worry about. Connor, you have, you're okay. you have three best friends here. <laughs> Connor just. Connor doesn't even play the aisle. Connor doesn't even play the aisle like John Carpenter. Blank, 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 and I still love this guy. Exactly. <laughs> the fuck is this man? <laughs> the aisle. I hop on one every once in a while. Yeah, you do, but I mean, like, you don't like, you don't like once a year. Like me, like you don't like. <laughs> Yeah. To be fair, Sam. Ah, uh, to be fair, you don't love it either. I don't like that game either. <laughs> That's a good point. I fucking hate that game. <laughs> Did you send me the? Who are we raiding? I sent. So raiding into Earthwalker, who they're playing the Isle. Are you they also doing TTRPG it. streams? Uh, they're memeologist. They say here, so that's gonna be uh, a vibe. McBy was playing the Isle. McBy, why are we not playing the Isle together? If you play the Isle. <laughs> <laughs> They literally just did the best update. I'm just kidding. That's. I wish it was the best update. It's with <sighs> the humans, right? It's with. I don't know, key. bro. I don't know either, bro. The humans is where they put in Greedo and McClunky. Mm-hmm. 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 You get to shoot him right in the head. Speaking of say, McClunky, McClunky, we got a bit of a shout out on the uh, on the Star Wars Explained Book of Boba Fett Chapter One video last week. What we did? Yeah. Don't don't fucking lie. Because they said that like McClunky is awesome after. Huh. Well, because like they were just talking about the awesome changes like in in uh, A New Hope, and they were like the McClunky one that was a pretty good God, one. God, you you got my actual actual hopes. I up. know, like I <laughs> was fucking like, yeah. you, look, I, I'm fucking gonna fucking go on that video and be like, yeah, I know McClunky's pretty good, but I'm gonna comment on the McClunky Squadron channel and be like, <laughs> what's up? You're, I'm here. McCl- I heard McClunky. <laughs> <laughs> McClunky, do do do. Anywhere where McClunky is, we will be there. McClunky squadron shall follow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's let's get that raid going. And thank you guys for hanging out. You we really appreciate it. Sent me the raid thing yet? I did. You ding dong. No, you didn't. Sorry, I was you aggressive. Sent it to Paris. Probably. Oh, no, I sent it to scientists. Sam. <laughs> nice, you ding dong. <laughs> All Sams are special and different. All, All Sams, Sams are, are unique, unique in their own Sammy way. Yeah. Yeah, and, and McBuy, if you want to, I'm down. Hell, I'll, I'll, we'll even stream that shit when we play, because I want to stream the aisle at one point. I want to stream the aisle when it's more of, like, a, a proper game. Like when, it's actual, when it's not an actual game. Yeah. Like, when it's a game, and I know that people stream it a lot right now, but, like, I don't think I could do it. Enter- I mean, I probably could do it entertainingly in a way, but I don't know. If- I feel like you could. I feel like it could. Oh, yeah, you could, Sam. Like, the kind of shit that happens in that game is so funny. <laughs> I watch people and they don't die as much as I do, and I'm like, how do you do this? <laughs> like, I'm actively just running around like... That's what's funny, man. Dead. Okay, uh, I will start the wait, raid. Wait, don't start the raid. Don't wait. Oh. I think that guy's finishing his stream. Oh. Papillon. Fuck. They're playing It Takes Two. What do, uh, 
Oh no, I think they're still going. They're still going. All right, all right, okay. We'll start. I'm clicking the right. <laughs> oh my god, funny. All right, thank you guys uh, so much for hanging out, uh, McBuy. We will play the Isle at one point on stream. Uh, we can play it as like a goofy thing, because honestly, like it'll be a while until it's a bit more completed. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and Just we will see you next time. Mm-hmm. Bye. 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 My clunky.